Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to the Adobe XD Daily Creative Challenge. I'm your host, Andrea Epi. So welcome, everyone. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Friday. Woo, I'm so excited. It's almost the weekend. And welcome, everyone, in the chat. We've got Laura, Cody, Arlinda, Henry, Golden Rose. Welcome, everyone. I'm so happy you're here. And as always, uh, leave me a question if you have any questions about anything I'm doing in the chat. So let's go ahead and get started. I am gonna go ahead and hop on over to Behance and we can see what today's challenge is. So I am on behance.net slash challenge slash XD if you wanna follow along with me. And of course, if you're not already registered, go ahead and sign up with that big blue button right there. And that way, each day at 8 a.m., you'll get a notification that there is a new challenge and that you should hop on back here and see what it is. So if we scroll on down here, we can see what we've been working on this week. So on Tuesday, we did that hairstyle generator. And then on Wednesday, I had to remember which day, uh, we did a DIY browsing experience, some sort of like home improvement projects. And then yesterday we did a hobby randomizer. So I saw a lot of you guys' awesome work in Discord. So thank you so much for sharing that. And we'll look at some of you guys' work towards the end of the stream. And today, what I want you guys to do is do an exercise scoreboard. So create an exercise tracking experience that can be played with friends, and you're gonna design a sort of leaderboard using components for avatars and icons. So this is kind of a fun one today. Again, keeping in the theme of New Year's resolutions, sort of things we do in January, you know how it goes. Um, and let's see if this is working yet. No, it's not. <laughs> so uh, for the starter files, if you wanna download that, obviously I recommend to do that, but we have a little bit of a bug. So you just have to copy, right click and do copy link address. And then if you go to a new tab and just paste it in, it will just download automatically for you there. So we're working on that, but you can still download it. So just do that copy, um, right click and copy. So that is uh, our challenge for today. Of course, I'm live every day at 2 p.m. Pacific, except for the weekends. So relax and don't come back here tomorrow. <laughs> um, okay. So this is, let me give you a sneak peek of what we're going to be working on today. So you kind of uh, have an idea in your head while I'm creating this. So this is our exercise leaderboard. And we'll do like a home page where we can just see a list of, you know, everyone that's competing in it. And, you know, maybe add their scores so far. If you click on one of them, uh, maybe just up here a little bit of an overview of your own steps that day. And then when we uh, click to see more, it'll say like, hey, you got a new badge. Look at this nice new badge. <laughs> and then um, you can close out of that and see all of your awesome badges. I just um, used the same badge, but just colored it a little bit differently. But if you wanna go above and beyond and like really design each of those badges really cool, I would love to see that. So that is our challenge for today. Um, of course, if you want to share your work and get feedback, you can hop into Discord. So this is the link for Discord. And also this up here. I always forget to show this screen, but this is the same link that's on the Behance. Um, so this is Discord and you can see what everyone else is posting over here in the current challenge channel. So definitely be sure to check out some of this work. And like I mentioned, we'll look at a few of you guys' work towards the end of the stream. Um, but yeah, if you want feedback on it, you can see you know who's online to get your feedback from. So that is Discord. And let's go ahead and hop into our design or our starter file. Um, as always, I, I like am having trouble uh, zooming in a little bit because my nails are so long. I'm trying to grow them out a little bit, but it's time to cut them. <laughs> anyway. So as I mentioned, challenge prop today, you can read more about it here. And we're just focusing on the components panel right here. And you will not see all of my own components um, because I always encourage you to be creative and come up with your own. Uh, but you will have this resource booklet right here. So you can kind of hop through some of these, uh, some of my just uh, favorite icons and fonts and such, just a little resource booklet for you. 
And yeah, so badges, something like this. Um, doesn't have to be too detailed, like don't spend too much time on that. We're really just kind of trying to get the hang of adding components and um, being able to reuse them and saving time with that. So yes. Okay, so tips for today. Um, document assets, obviously is this whole panel over here. And if you don't see it, you may just be in libraries, which is one level above basically. So your libraries, think of, you know, if you're doing freelance and you have a bunch of different clients or, you know, you have a bunch of different groups that you're working with and they each have different like design systems. This is a great way to organize all of that, still keep them in their own folders. Um, and then if you just click on the top one up here, this is all of your document assets. So you can add your own colors to reuse, all of your character styles, all of your components and keep everything nice and organized. And the one thing you need to remember with components, let me just like drag one over here. So this, actually I'll just, uh, I'll just make this a component so we can see. So for instance, we've got this, um, this arrow and it's not a component yet, but if I would come over here, press this plus icon. So now it's a component because it changed from a blue outline to a green outline. And you'll see in this top left corner right here, it's probably pretty hard for you to see because it's kind of small on the stream, but this little diamond is filled in. Now, if I would copy and paste this, now we'll see this one, this one's still filled in, but this one is not. So this is an instance and this is our main component. So just something to keep in mind when you have a bunch of different icons and you know, they're all components, they're all the same component. If you update one, if you update the mass or the main, um, it will update the rest of them. But if you update an instance, like let's say we change this color, it will not update the rest of them because it's an instance. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, but just something to keep in mind. I don't wanna, I wanna delete that one while you are designing today. So I've got three artboards already uh, laid out for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add our background and watch out guys because today i was feeling like i want to do something a little a little different a little crazy with the colors so we're going neon today i feel like i usually like to keep it kind of safe but today you know you just got to do something different sometimes so this will be um, our background where we uh, have all of our badges and then i'll just copy and paste that and this will be white so this will be our um, main homepage and you can swipe this up and down basically. So here I just want to list out the uh, like all of the people that are participating in this competition. So I guess up here, let's give this the logo or the name of the app or whatever like the challenge is. I'll just for simplicity's sake, I'll say your challenge and we can center that. And the font I'm using today is Europa. Um, let's see, check in the chat. Pratap asked, can you do a session on voice interaction in XD? That is a good idea. I will definitely keep that in mind for my next, um, next daily creative challenge. Uh, unfortunately, I already have like these two weeks all scheduled out, but after that, I will definitely do that. I haven't done one of those in a while, actually. Um, okay. So I'm just adding this little indicator not sure what we call that little thing so um, users can know hey this is swipeable like you should interact with this instead of just leaving it kind of blank and actually what i want to do i'm going to bring this down just a little bit because i want this to be curved right here so let's just add this not too curved let's bring this up a bit and i'll remove the border and then these two I'll just come up to my Pathfinder tool and do this first one. So it's all just one, one shape, but you can still go in and adjust these if you want, which is really nice, um, but it's all one shape now. And then below that, I'll leave some space up here for kind of the overview, um, but let's actually start at the bottom. So I'm gonna add 
just three icons. Um, so maybe this one is just for entering your steps for the day. This one is like your profile. And this is for if you're doing some kind of activity instead of just steps. And for the sake of time, I already made this little button, keeping the same colors. <laughs> and the reason I'm doing three as opposed to like four, uh, usually I will do four uh, icons for the menu at the bottom. But since this is, uh, our grid is more um, centered here. So we've got the title in the center, the circle, you know, it's kind of has an apex right in the center. So generally for uh, designs that I do use the circle and I kind of center align everything, instead of doing four icons, which would be a four column grid, I'm gonna do a three column grid. So that's why I'm using three icons instead. Okay, and then we can just start adding um, all of the names of the participants. So I'll say myself. <laughs> And I'll use some of you guys' names. Sorry, I will be winning this competition, so I'm at the top. <laughs> we'll do Henry, Cody, who else? Golden, gotta scroll up. We got Pratap, and Uma Corn. I hope I spelled that right. Maybe like one more, Charlie and Renee, okay. So there are names, that's a little bit big. So let's make this a little bit smaller. You guys are going down in history in my design. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna number this. So one through like seven or so. Okay, there we go. Let me make sure there's any um, questions. Yeah, Cody said bright col colors and gradients are motivating for an exercise app. That is very true. Yeah, okay, let's move this over just a touch. And then right here I'll add just sort of like some data, uh, little lines. So I'm winning, sorry guys. <laughs> in your own design, why can I not round these corners? Sometimes you need to zoom in, okay. And this I'm just using another linear gradient, lots of gradients today. And I'm gonna make this horizontal instead. And then we'll just kind of space these out a bit. And actually, I kind of want these to look like they're not all just going down, but that wouldn't really make sense for the numbering. Oh well, it's my design so I can <laughs> do it however I want. So I'm just gonna make these kind of random looking. Um, okay. There we go. And let's move these over, whoops. Move these over just a touch. And actually, um, I want this to look like there's a lot more people down here that you can kind of scroll through. So generally whenever I have um, I want it to look like there's more below the fold. I will add just a white gradient. So let's go over into our fill. We'll make this a linear gradient and I'll make both of these white. Oops. And bring the dark part or the lighter part, I guess, right there. And I just realized I wrote seven twice. Okay. And then let's just drag all of that down a little bit. Okay, so now it looks like it's scrollable towards the end. Let me move that down a bit. Okay, and now we have some space up here for our overview. Um, Henry asked, how do you make a gradient on a path or stroke? Yeah, so unfortunately, <laughs> um, if this was a path, there's really no way to do that in XD yet. I think they are working on that. But you'll notice like when you go into fill right here, it has this little drop down and you know, you can fill it with linear, you can fill it with radial, but when we go into border, it does not have that. So uh, a workaround would be make it in Illustrator and then just copy and paste it over into XD. 
Or what I did here, because I kind of wanted to do that same thing, was I just cheated a little bit and <laughs> I have a bunch of different circles with different colors and then just use an object blur on each of these underneath a mask. So it's a little bit of a hassle, but you can still get the end um, result that you want. So a little bit of a workaround there, but hopefully soon. Okay, so up here, I'm gonna add like maybe we got, this is the amount of steps for the day. Eh, make that a little bit bigger. Steps, and again, I am going to uh, keep with the three column grid. So I'm only gonna have like three sections right here. Let's kind of center those, make sure these are centered. Boom, and group those. And then I'm just gonna copy that same thing, paste it over twice. And so maybe the center one can be like calories and I don't know what that converts to. I don't think this is, the math is right on this, but, um, and then miles, this can be like 5.1 miles. That's definitely not right, but you get the idea. And let's just add um, some lines right here. Oops. Sort of dividing all of that. I'll bring this up to two and round those corners a bit and just make them super light. Okay. Then let's bring these down just a touch. Awesome. So that's our first page. Maybe we also just want a menu up in the top right. So there's some way to navigate throughout this app. Yeah. Okay. Good, good. Um, now what I want to do, uh, so since we want to kind of show this moving up and down, this whole white part, let's go ahead and uh, just group all of that together, including this little thing at the top there. Actually, you know what I want to do? I want to add a drop shadow behind this, just so we have a little bit more um, division there between the foreground and the background. And that is nice. Okay. So now we can just copy every single thing on this artboard, except for don't select the artboard title, because then you'll just copy and paste the whole, a whole new artboard. And let's paste this on our badges artboard. And then we can just hold down shift and drag this however far you want it to go down. I'll leave it at like right here. So now we've got a ton of room for all of our badges. So let's, um, let's first add a little description under this so we know what this section is actually for. And I'll make this text box a little bit bigger. <laughs> Henry said, 3,000 calories, you are active. <laughs> I know, I don't know what the exact ratios are, you guys, for 2,000 steps, but... <laughs> See, I never look at calories or miles. I only look at steps, like on my Apple Watch. So I just have no idea. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, for our description, let's say like, great job. These are all of your badges. Or like you have 15 badges or however many you want to have. And we can bring down that opacity just a little bit, just so your challenge is the first thing that the user sees. And then below this, we can add all of our badges. And just kind of for the sake of time, of course, I have already created one of these. And I'm going to be lazy and just use the same one, but different colors for the rest of them. So what I'm going to do is actually just copy um, this white circle on that first artboard and I'm gonna make this um, just a background for each of the badges. And the reason I copied it is because I wanna keep that same exact drop shadow. So generally, if I'm trying to keep the styling the same throughout all the artboards, I'll just copy and paste things. Like same with, you know, text or whatever other elements. Sometimes it's just easier to copy and paste as opposed to creating something new. So now, Easy peasy, let's do a repeat grid. Gotta love the repeat grid. So we'll open this up um, horizontally. It's a little hard to see the spacing indicator since my background is pink. And we'll bring that up a little bit. 
And I'm just gonna drag this like pretty far down here. And actually, let's leave this like right here and I'll ungroup this. Oh, we have way too many. I don't want them on the side. Okay, so now my easy trick is, and you guys probably are, maybe already know this, I don't know, is for changing the color, I'll come over here, pick whatever color I want. Um, actually, I'll keep it the pink and then, so it's the same like hue, I'll just drag this slider over a little bit. Maybe this one's red. And then just come over to my blending modes and say color. So there we go. And I'll just copy and paste that. Same thing here, just use the slider so we're still staying in that same hue and do the same thing for the rest of these. Copy and paste those and make this one a light blue. This one can be purple. And I guess I haven't made too many components yet, but for instance, like this one could be a component. Each of these could be individual components and you could reuse those on this first page here too, if you want. So all you do, come over here, tap your component, and then anytime you want to reuse the same one, just copy it from over here. And um, then anytime you update that main one, it'll update the rest as well. And let's just add colors for these two. Maybe a yellow, orange, and one more. I've used like all the colors already. Um, okay, I'll do another red. <laughs> Okay, and then if you want this to look like it's scrollable um, past, like below the fold, we can just use repeat grid again and bring it down quite a bit. And then what I'll do is uh, make this come over here to our scroll groups and give it a vertical scroll. So now, let's send that back. When I preview this over here, when I scroll through, it is uh, showing me a lot more. And the last thing I just want to add here is um, being able to scroll the home page up and down. So let's hop into our prototype tab. Well, we're really not doing too much prototyping today, mostly kind of staying in our assets panel. And just select this whole thing, or if you want to double click in and select like the little indicator there, I'm just going to do the whole thing because it's a little easier to tap. Um, but drag it over to your next artboard and you will do, let's do a drag, drag up and down. And then the action will be auto animate here. And I'm not gonna do any easing or anything. So let's preview that. Okay, so we drag this down. What a nice auto animate transition that is. Super nice. And then if you wanna do the same going back, just again, select that whole uh, white area, bring it back. I might just do tap a little easier. So we drag it down. Boom, we can scroll through all of our badges, looks lovely, and tap and it goes up, kind of slowly. Uh, maybe we should bring that down to like 0.4. Let's check that. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay, cool. Um, I had one more page that I was gonna do, but I'm not gonna have time for that. So if you wanna do a little pop-up like this one I had originally, so you drag down, you got your pop-up, hey, you hit a milestone, you just got a new badge, you could do that as well. See your badges, and yeah, there you go. So that is our design for today. I'm excited to see what you guys come up with. Um, so definitely post it in Discord in that Creative Challenge channel so I can look at your work and give you feedback if you'd like. So let's see if we have any questions. <laughs> Okay, you guys are doing all the math for me on the steps. Thank you for that. <laughs> yeah, very large steps for five miles, Henry. I agree. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's hop into Behance and we can look at some of you guys' work over there. Oh, one thing I want to mention, if you are um, posting to Behance, making a case study and all of that, make sure you come over here to your settings icon and add your keyword, which is XD Daily Challenge. And that's under project tags right there. So just make sure you see that or add that. Otherwise I won't be able to see it when I search. So I'm searching my most recent. I've got a few pulled up here. So this was, I believe the first day. This is by Anna. Hairstyle generator. Let's take a look at this. 
Make it full screen. Wow, very intricate. <laughs> there we go. Short, medium, and long. We got braids. Awesome. And we've got the drag. Nice job on that. And a like. I love that. Love the color palette too. The minty green is really nice. Thanks, Anna, for sharing that. If you're watching, this was another hairstyle app by Shreya. I like this illustration. Very just like nice and flowy. Ooh, we've got the hair colors. Short, medium, and long. Awesome. You added so many interactions to this. This looks so good. Wavy mush. <laughs> okay. Asymmetry cut. Wow. Milky Bob. I love the names for these hairstyles. That's so funny. Okay. Awesome job. Thanks for sharing this. I uh, was going to share some more, but I don't have a too, uh, too much time left. Um, that is about all the time that I have left for today, guys. Thanks so much for joining. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. You take some time to relax and everything. And don't go anywhere because in about five minutes we have Office Hours with Andrew Hockrattle and Nick Lanco. So stay tuned for that. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye, everyone.